Hello guys and welcome to the first part of this tutorial series and we are going to create a climbing system like an Assassin's Creed or whatever. You just saw the trailer so you know what is going to happen. This perfect shot will stand on the uh, screen. I will just explain a few uh, things of the system about how this tutorial is going to work and things like that. So the very first thing is it's a producer system so you don't have to place triggers afterwards. It's just if you play somewhere uh, an object with a collider, it will work. Uh, so that's kind of how, how everything works. So that's, I think, uh, a little bit better than uh, messing around with triggers. But that means that it's a very complex system. Um, so you need some basic experience with factors, with raycast, with mathematics, and it's not a basic uh, tutorial or uh, for Unity beginners tutorial. It's a little bit harder. So I, uh, if you're going to do this tutorial, I, I expect some basic experience with Unity or at least with uh, coding. And yeah, you just need to know a little bit more than just uh, the beginner thing. So if you just started like a week ago with Unity, I would just say go towards the Unity uh, official tutorial page and just go over some of those tutorials, those are great, and you will just learn the basics. Uh, also, I can do a little bit uh, more tutorials in depth about how Raycast works and factors and uh, just the basic things we are going to use in this tutorial. Uh, if you want me to create those, just put it in the comments. Uh, I will create those and I will just upload those between the episodes and just if we are going to, uh, what we are going to use and if I think uh, you need some more experience with that. Also, this will work with any kind of controller, any kind of correct controller. I'm using a third person controller just because it's the most used for uh, this kind of systems. Um, but it does mean you have to change 10 lines or so of the uh, whole code. So it's not that much, but you need to change something. Um, as I said, it's a very complex system and that made me to the choice that instead of adding, uh, adding a new thing every time, we are going to, uh, uh, every new episode, we are going to create uh, a new thing towards the system. Uh, like in the first tutorial, I'm going to explain how to go up uh, and down. In the second time, I'm going to explain how to go left and right. In another episode, I'm going to explain how to make uh, the turns uh, so you can go around an object. Um, that isn't going to happen because then it means we have to rewrite a whole bunch of code uh, and it's just a shame. Then the tutorial series will take a lot, two months longer or so, so that we are not going to do that. But that does mean that the system won't work probably, uh, properly until the end of the series. It does mean that it's useless uh, until halfway through the series, you can do anything with it. And uh, it, we are going to do some useful things, but you can't really see it when you hit the play button. Um, and also I'm not a really good animator, so I'm not going to explain how to create those animations. Uh, this animation, by the way, is just a jumping animation. That's the animation we are going to use for this whole system. Uh, just go find somebody who are, who uh, can animate probably, uh, probably, and just find some tutorials about it and, and so on. And this is all also only the climbing system and not the whole free run system of uh, Assassin's Creed. So it's a little bit, it's a difference. It's a different uh, system. I can create, uh, create it. Just put it in the comments if you want me to create it. And I will see if I can create it. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm 100% sure, but I think I will be able to, but that will be a new tutorial series. Also, if I miss, a, miss anything in a series, like, uh, for example, we can't uh, turn corners, but for example, if I didn't implant that, uh, you can just say uh, something like, uh, hey, you have to create also that. It's just uh, some basics what also needs to be implanted within the tutorial series. Uh, just put it in the comments and I will try to implant it and maybe you will see it uh, within an, uh, a few tutorials, a few parts. Also, 
it's 400 lines of code um, and that means it's going to be a long series uh, it will take around eight parts or so I think uh, six parts maybe so it's just it's a long tutorial uh, series so just be prepared for that um, so now I'm going to explain how the system will work uh, so the very first thing it will do is checking for possible spots so spots that uh, where you can walk or actually climb towards um, and you will do that with four recasts at the most when you're going to uh, uh, up or down and if you're going sidewards or to an a corner you have to even use more raycast just for a simple reason you have more things to check um, this is by the way not uh, the minimum of raycast that you're going to use for example if this is the first raycast then this is the second this is the third this is the fourth if the uh, first already hits something the other three won't be called so i try to optimize it as best as i can uh, and it's the same with this uh, it's just trying to get the best uh, the best performance uh, and I think the you can make it more accurate by even using more uh, raycast but I think this is the perfect uh, combination between performance because it's 800 frames per second and accuracy so I think it's fine uh, here after that you are going to check the right place where you want to be uh, hanging because for example the fourth raycast here will only hit something you can see it's not uh, at the edge so if you're going to move towards it you will get uh, weird uh, glitches with bugs so we need to find the right uh, point uh, so we're just going to do it with a raycast again and after that we are going to check if you are uh, if you can reach it so if there isn't any obstacle uh, at that place so you know that can happen sometimes so just to make sure that that doesn't happen also this yellow line is if you can fit and uh, again you can make this more accurate by using even more ACAS for example just a box but it also costs a little bit more memory and I think this is the perfect uh, balance between performance and accuracy but if you want to make different you can do that and uh, that's the whole climbing system but you also want to if you're on the edge uh, you will also be able to actually climb towards the plateau so we are going to do that by sending a raycast and check if there is no, uh, nothing in the way and if there isn't we are going to check can you actually stand on something if you can't that means this wall is very thin thin you are going to uh, change uh, you're going to hang on the other side of the wall also uh, if you are at an edge it will just detect it's an edge again with a raycast you can also change that I will just explain how to do that but uh, that's uh, at that moment of the tutorial and we are going to uh, and if there isn't anything in the way uh, it will text oh there is an edge here uh, there isn't like uh, it isn't like a um, like a stair or something like that uh, and it will just hang here um, that was the whole system in a nutshell uh, when we are going to uh, to create those functions we I'm going to explain it a little bit more in depth uh, I know we didn't uh, did any programming but it's a very complex system so I just had to explain this before we are going to start um, if you already got any questions just put it in the comment section below and I hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like or a subscribe and I see you guys uh, next week when I will uh, upload the next part of this tutorial well I see you guys next week